Calgary Horror Con. I'm with Susan Baclini. Is that how you pronounce that's it? How you Baclini. It. How's your day today? That's uh, wonderful. Yeah. Lots of fans have come out. Oh, that's good. Do you do a lot of conventions? I do about four or five a year. That's not bad. No, not bad. It's fun to go out and meet all the fans. Yeah, because you probably have a ton of fans over the years. Have you ever had any, like, crazy fans? Not really. Oh, that's good. I mean, they all have the, basically the same thing to say, and the main thing they say all the time is, you've kept me out of the water. <laughs> oh, no, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's a common, common fault of the movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, before this, I was reading up on you, and you were a sports diver? And is that how you got the role then? Is well, I swam competitively as a kid, and then oh, okay. I swam professionally after I grew up. Oh, wow. And so I was, I'm real at ease in the world. Yeah. And the gentleman that put my name in for it was a, a, an underwater specialist. Okay. And he, I had worked with him before, and when they asked him if they, uh, he knew of a girl that could do that, he put You're like, yeah. And I lucked out and got the part. Oh, that's so cool. Was it like, what was the, um, uh, the audition like? like? Well, I went in and I took my portfolio, and I knew when it was a new scene that they were going to make me strip, uh -huh. which I hate to have to do. Yeah. So I put one nude photo in my portfolio. Yeah. And, and then bless his heart, they didn't ask me to strip. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I don't think I could do it either. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like that part of it. <laughs> well, they look great, though. <laughs> um, but what were your goals prior to this? Like, was this something you were always wanted to do and get involved with movies? Or? Well... No, I actually, I met a, a gentleman who was training wild animals. Yeah, I saw that too. And I started training animals, and it involved into doing stunts with animals. And then I just kind of reached out and started doing more water stunts yeah. and, and regular stunts. What's the craziest animal you worked with before? Probably the craziest was black leopards. Oh my god. Was there anything, like any dangerous things that happened? Oh yeah. Oh? <laughs> because when you do like attacks with them, like if one's supposed to kill somebody and you're doubling that person, oh my goodness. the animal can get out of control. Yeah. Because he's running and he's coming after you and it's his an instincts mode. take over. Yeah. And sometimes they get out of control. And if you're a trainer and you see them coming, there's other trainers on set with you. They watch their body position and yeah. their eyes. Yeah, the eyes, I bet. The tell eyes. A lot. And they can, you can tell if they've cha it's changed from play to serious. Yeah. And are you in some and sort of suit? And then you stop it. And then you stop. It's not playing anymore. That's it. No more. <laughs> <laughs> are you in some sort of, like, protective suit or you're just bare? No, you're just wearing whatever the actor oh has. Oh, my on. goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> what has been your most memorable moment throughout all of this? Well, actually, I've been real lucky. I've been able to go overseas a couple of times. And I've been to the Philippines and to oh, Africa. Wow. I've come to Canada and I've been to Mexico and Spain. That's amazing. And I love the travel. Yeah, that would be the best part. You get to well, see it's cultures. like a vacation even though you're working. Yeah. You get to sit here and meet new people. And is this your first time to Canada? No, I've been to, I've been to Canada actually to Banff and Calgary two other times. What? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, because you guys do the uh, Dan always brings uh, all the guests out to Banff and does the Banff. Right, before. he took us out Thursday. It was wonderful, oh, and the weather was great that day it too. It was great. It was rainy all day yesterday. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> What do you do now to keep yourself busy? What kind of projects do you have, hobbies? Well, I live on a boat. Oh, no way. Yes, and all uh -huh. you have to do is say it's a wood boat, and you know what I do all the time. <laughs> I work on the boat all the time. Oh, and we amazing. go out to the islands. We have, like, seven islands right off where I live, and we go out there on the boat quite a lot. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, it's wonderful. I have a girlfriend that just moved onto a boat on Vancouver Island, actually. Is that right? Yeah, and I've been thinking about it myself. <laughs> it's a different kind of life, and you can't have as much stuff. Yeah, no, you have to live minimally. Yeah. I think that's the, it's the good. goal of life. You don't get all this stuff. You know, when you buy something, you want it this tiny. <laughs> <laughs> or you don't get it at all. That's right. Yeah. Do you keep swimming a lot, too, then, since you're on the boat? Uh, yeah, I dive and I, I go to the pool. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, well, I thank you so much for taking a minute and well, chatting I with me. I appreciate you asking.